Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 22, today verses 35 to 38. And he said to them, When I sent you without money bag, knapsack, and sandals, did you lack anything? So they said, Nothing. Then he said to them, But now he who has a money bag, let him take it, and likewise a knapsack. And he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say to you that this which is written must still be accomplished in me. And he was numbered with the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. So they said, Look, Lord, here are two swords. And he said to them, It is enough. Hey, so Jesus, what's he trying to emphasize here? He's trying to show them that whatever they needed, God always provided. They needed food, God provided it. They needed a knapsack, God provided it. They needed sandals, God provided it. When you are set out and you're determined to serve the Lord Jesus, he will provide whatever you need. And so you may not have lots of extra. You may not have the world's latest and greatest, but it's all going to burn anyway, right? What we need is what we need simply to serve Jesus today. And so God is good, and he's very glad to give us those things. And so if you set out to serve Jesus, he'll give you what you need. You do your little part, and God will do his infinite part, and it's all going to work out quite well. So the disciples here were never left in trouble. And so Jesus said that what they had was enough. And they were coming up. The key thing they had to have was faith. They were about to go through the most harrowing experience anyone had ever gone through, as Jesus would be taken arrested, beaten, tortured, crucified, and murdered on the cross. But with faith, they had what they needed. So a lot of times, it's not the material stuff. It's the spiritual stuff. Hey, how is it with your spiritual stuff? Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, we want our spiritual stuff to be in order. We want to have enough what we need, enough of what we need to be successful in following you. Lord, if we have just a little bit, you will build it and use it in a mighty way. So the biggest thing, Lord, is that we would simply trust that you are God, you are there, you are always there for us, and you've provided Jesus as our sacrifice, and you provide a gift of transformation so that we can live in these intense times. Bless us and draw us close to the heart of Jesus every single day, including this day, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So God's may God's blessings be with you today as you serve Jesus today.